Okay, let's take a look at practice problem number three, again associated with uh, sample problem B here in chapter four. Number three, two tugboats pull a barge across the harbor. One boat exerts a force of 7.5 times 10 to the fourth newtons north, while the second boat exerts a force of 9.5 times 10 to the fourth uh, newtons at 15 degrees north of west. Precisely in what direction does the barge move? So notice we're not actually having to go for a magnitude here. So we're really trying to do um, is get a direction. Right? Our, our final answer is going to be some number of degrees, yada of yada. However, in order to draw our triangle so that we can use the inverse tangent function, we're, we're still going to have to figure out the, the components of this overall triangle. So uh, let's get started. Let's start uh, drawing our diagram. Now, uh, first off, just before we get started, um, going into our four coordinate system. Let me rem remind you that just in general uh, angles that we can use according to convention, okay, uh, something going straight up or in this case we'd consider that um, north is actually moving at an angle of 90 degrees. Something moving west, that's 180 degrees. Uh, so I'm not just making these up out of nowhere as we get started. Um, this is just kind of a, a typical convention here. Okay, so first thing I want to do, let's draw our diagram. One boat exerts a force north. Okay. Got it. And the other boat, the other tugboat is exerting a force at... 15 degrees north of west, so that would be west, and this is going to be about 15 degrees north of west. Don't worry too much if it's not exactly 15, uh, 15 degrees, again, north, north of west, right? So here's north, here's west. So north of west is moving up toward that north. So this angle right here is actually going to be 15 degrees, right? Point zero, 15 degrees. What we can also say is that this angle is 165 degrees. Right? So this would be 180. What, 15 less than 180? Be 165. So uh, what I need to do is I need to break down both of these triangles, even though one you know doesn't really look like a triangle. I'm still going to treat it like a triangle. I'm going to break both of these triangles down into their uh, x and y components. Uh, so I'll have two x components. I'll add those together for my resultant x component. And then I'll, have, I'll also have two y components. And then I'll add those together for my resultant y component. Once I have... Uh, two kind of net X and Y components. I can treat that like my triangle, and then I can calculate my um, my direction. So let's get started. Uh, let's start with the X direction. Yeah, yeah. Start with the X direction. Why not? Uh, so I have my first. It's so my first force, so like F one. My second force, F two. Uh, and then, uh, again, my first my first angle, okay, uh, I'll write this over here on the side just for reference. So like my F1 was or is 7.5 times 10 to the fourth newtons, okay, uh, north. And I'm already seeing that uh, these values are using uh, two significant figures, so there's a strong likelihood that I'm going to use two significant figures for my final answer. Force 2, 
times 10 to the fourth newtons um, at 15 degrees north of west. I can write that small so it'll fit in there. <clears throat> okay, so here's my F1. Okay, and here is my F2. Um, so here we go. So the first thing I want to do is uh, pick one of the uh, one of the components to actually do x, x or y. It doesn't matter. So um, I'm just going to stick with x. So I'm going to need to calculate the force only in the x component, but net right the net force in the x component in the x direction. That's going to be the sum. Not good at that sigma. The sum of all forces in the x direction, right? So how many forces are in the x direction? Well, I have F1 multiplied by the cosine of theta 1 plus force 2 multiplied by the cosine theta 2. <clears throat> now again, how do I know this? Well, we can go back to our definitions of sine and cosine and how we can solve for these. So remember when I go to solve for, for, for any of these particular any of these particular values, so <clears throat> the the adjacent terms, as long as long as it actually is adjacent, uh, is sorry. Use a different symbol. So we'd have adjacent, and in this case, actually means the um, x component is hypotenuse times cosine of the angle. Okay. And in this case, in a very similar way, the opposite side, which would be the vertical component of this triangle going to be, again, hypotenuse multiplied by the sine of theta. And, and that's what actually what I'm writing. I'm actually writing uh, this right here. Okay, so I need to add all of the x components of forces. So for F1, the x component of F1 is the total force multiplied by the cosine of that angle. And right, that's going to get me uh, that that first uh, that first net co uh, sorry x component. Well, I have to do that same thing for the second movement, right? So for the second force, so F two multiplied by the cosine of theta two. When I do that, I'm gonna start plugging in values. Okay, so F one seven point five times ten to the fourth newtons multiplied by the cosine again straight up right north is 90 degrees so it's going to be cosine of 90 degrees plus f2 which is 9.5 times 10 to the fourth newtons multiplied by the cosine of 165 degrees again this is the angle we're going to be using right here so um, if I put that into the calculator, <clears throat> I'm going to get a whole bunch of stuff, as you, as you can imagine. But like I guess I'm going to use two sig figs, right? Two is the best I can do right here. So to two significant figures, uh, the net force in the x direction is going to be negative 9.2 times 10 to the fourth newtons. Okay, now it's negative because, again, it's going that way. It's going west. Okay, it's going west. And so we represent that vertically as a negative number. Even not to say it's less than zero. We're just indicating that it's moving to the left. It's moving west. <clears throat> now we can do the same thing uh, with the y components. 
So the net y components of the uh, of force, again, they're going to be equal by definition to the sum of all the forces y. Again, I'm going to be using uh, this definition up here. So F1 multiply by the sine of theta 1 plus F2 multiplied by the sine of theta 2. All right, fair enough. Now let's plug in some values. <clears throat> Again, F1, 7.5 times 10 to the fourth newtons. Sine. 90 degrees plus F2 9.5 times 10 to the fourth newtons times the sine of 165 degrees. Again, put a whole bunch of stuff into uh, the calculator. That's actually going to end up being Ten. Do ten. I only need two significant figures, so I'll write it like that. Times ten to the fourth newtons. So ten times ten to the fourth newtons. So I have my x component and my y component. So I'm gonna, see I'm gonna draw my. I'm gonna draw this. I draw it this way. I'm oh, sorry, I'm just trying to plan my triangle drawing so it doesn't look janky. So I'm going to have an overall x component, okay, and it is moving left, or sorry, to the west. I, I know uh, because it's got a negative sign. Uh, my overall uh, y component of the force is uh, positive, so that's going to be going up. Okay. So. What I'm actually calculating is this net force right here, okay, the hypotenuse. So what I've done here, uh, again, here's the angle I can look for. Y component, 10 times 10 to the fourth newtons. Uh, X component, what was it, negative 9.2 times 10 to the fourth newtons. Take the arc tangent of that angle, and that's going to be right. Again, opposite over adjacent, right? Tangent opposite opposite over adjacent. Again, this is where we're starting from. Opposite over adjacent, and so I can plug that into my calculator. Press my my arc tan, or tan to the negative one, and theta, again to two significant figures, it's gonna be 47 degrees. But uh, again, in what direction? Well, he, this is the west direction, and we're moving up, right? That's north, so we're going to say north of west. So the overall direction of the barge uh, is 47 degrees north of west.